Pusket YouTube. Sorry for disappearing for like a month and a half, but been busy with school and uh, other stuff, so that's why. Today I'm just gonna be looking at some uh, random Pokemon Showdown replays, and uh, before we get into it, please subscribe. Most people aren't, and it would mean a lot to me. Anyway, let's get right into it. Let's find a game to watch real quick. Um, preferably someone like OU. Um, not a tournament game. It's gonna be too uh, tryhard. Alright, this this uh, this game looks decent. This guy has a pretty standard team, though. Um, he does have a Weezing Galar, which is kind of weird. This guy has a very offensive team with Pokemon like uh, Crawdon, Volcanion, Mamoswine. Not the not the fastest team, not the bulkiest team. So, uh, should be an interesting game. Possible for the Zapdos lead. He should probably be switching to Zerora. Ice Punch turn one. Right. Yeah, that's not a great play. He gets Hurricane for it right off the bat. Zero comes in. Let's see what it clicks. Knock off 38. That's probably like Spadef Quarter Knight, I guess. That's a lot of damage. Double A comes out. Knock off. Oh, that might be CB actually. CB zero around. It did a lot. Um, nice prediction on him, I guess. Kills off the Lele. That's a, that's a good start. Even though um, his Buzz will die. Uh, Swine doubles back out into Volcanic, which is kind of interesting. Cause Assuming this is not like Fizzdef Slowking, EQ is going to do uh, really good against this team. Alright, he clicks Teleport, Zeror is back. Uh, does he get that prediction? Knockoff? No, he doesn't. Uh, he clicks Knockoff again for some reason, I'm not sure why, because the Roost was super free. He could have just gone like Heatran, gone for like a... Um... For like Rocks, um... Fire stab, maybe Earth Power, predicting full canyon. Knock was kind of awkward there. Heatran, or now it goes Heatran. That's a little too late. Still sloking to switch into full canyon, so no big deal. Zapdos comes out. Can you just switch into Land or Zero Aura? Oh my god, he died. Oh my god. One of his other Pokemon died to the. Zapdos as well, just very unnecessary because he does have ways on good ways on his team dealing with it. And please just plasma fist. Oh my god. What did he oh my god, why did he, why does he keep knocking off the second time too? I guess he's just like fishing for a crit. Yo, stop man. Alright. At least at least Corviknight cannot switch into um knockoff now without getting to it KO, but now defast freeze uh in danger because this full cannon just kind of gets a kill here, assuming it it's team eruption. Yeah, there goes the Lando. Is there a coming back out? What does he click this time? Oh my god, dude, is it just guy? Is this only attack move knockoff? Like, he has only 17 PP left with knockoff. He has not clicked another move. Is he onto Vulcanian? That's gonna be another kill for Vulcanian. Yeah, oh my god, it actually got O code. I didn't expect that, but. Great, Corviknight. Oh my god, it's gonna click knockoff again. This time it doesn't really matter, but like. So it doesn't even let him kill the Corviknight. It just goes hard into Crawdon. But you get a kill with Crab Hammer. Or, or Liquidation, I guess. It's gonna be a forfeit. That's, that was a really weird game. He just kept clicking knockoff. Like, he had 13 PP left at the end of that. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, I, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna go over this, but this is a doubles Ubers game with only four Ubers. Why, why is there like a him on top? Where's the Terminator or a Guru? What is up with this? Wow, that is a terrible SMOU team, the one with the Persian. So uh, we might just have to watch this. I'm rooting for the guy with the Persian because uh, because of the team. I'll call him the underdog here. So let's see what happens. Rich on first Persian, Brick Break, and the Persian is slower. Not interesting start. Another Brick Break coming out from the Garchomp on the Charm. This is already really weird. Burning shot. Alright, so Garchomp's at minus 3 right now. The Garchomp user is actually having a bit of a breakdown in the chat right now. I don't know what is uh, up with that, but um. Doesn't seem to be liking that his guard jump is minus free and taunted. Better comes out to the terrain. 
as Comfy starts setting up, as Comfy cannot do a lot against a team with Ferrothorn. It's the crit and the oh my god, and the confusion. I feel bad for this guy. Hmm. Alright, kills off the Comfy. He's uh, somewhat taunting in the chat right now. Ancient power, oh my god, ancient power flinch, so it's King's Rock. I don't know why you'd ever run King's Rock on Togekiss, but this guy has his own uh, techniques, I guess. Wonder Coco. Oregon Z comes out, maybe looking for a Z conversion. No, it just goes for a tri attack. That's probably uh, Specs uh, Porygon. Developer comes out. I don't think that's the play. You could have, could have just gone Mimikyu right there. Uh, but now Swampert comes out. It's, doesn't Mega Evolve for some reason. And barely missed out on the kill. Alright, now he does Mega Evolve. Maybe just forgot to click it. I don't know. Jirachi coming out. And immediately double switching. Probably just looking to uh, stall out the rain turns right here. Jirachi coming back out onto a Ice Punch. Should have just clicked Waterfall. Now the rain is uh, gone. But he clicks Ancient Power. And he oh my god, this also flinches. His opponent does not appreciate that. And now he gets the boost. Press the sub up, doesn't work. Now he does the Psy Shock. Oh my god, what's happening in this game? I think Mimikyu can still uh, take this out with Shadow Claw into the Shadow Sneak. But he clicks SD. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh yeah, he has a steel move. Um, Garchomp Fire Fang, why not Earthquake? Why not Earthquake or go Ferrothorn? Fire Fang is gonna flinch. No, he does not. It's actually Scarf Garchomp, that's why it outsped the Persian Shadow Ball. Yeah, I should've just gone into this earlier. Oh my god. It's not even leftovers or whatever. Citrus Berry, okay. Flinch, oh my god, dude, the King's Rock. Pokemon. His opponent is not appreciating this. Okay, Kiss comes out, looking to clean the game here. Flamethrower, and that's gonna be it. Oh my god, a potion- uh, Oh my god, the, the, the rain guy actually just had a mental breakdown in the chat, that stuff. He's not having a good time on the ladder right now, but um, that was certainly a game of Pokemon. I, I wouldn't call it a good one, but it, 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 it was entertaining, so it's it counts for something. Ooh, five stations and anything goes against a team without like any like ubers or whatever, or any really good Pokemon. This um, <laughs> this is interesting. Why does he have a Weaver and then five stations? I guess we'll see. The lead Ninetales versus the Weaver. Not a good lead for I'm Crystallized. Beat up. Oh my God, what's what's happening? Red gets every hit. Fl oh my god. Why is everything on the ladder King's Rock today? I might have to put this on fast just because of well, how long it takes. Alright, Aurora Fill. No flinch. Beat up again. Flinch. Beat on Lester. Vein Split. Oh my god. I didn't even know it had that. Not gonna lie. Alright, more beat up. More beat up. Flinch again. He's just gonna flinch this down. Dark type beats a fairy type. Even in Auroraville. Sheer cold. Nah, that's not gonna work, man. Beat up again. Does he get the flinch? 7%. No. So, um, gets the pain split off, but I think he's in beat up branch now. Alright, yeah, so he does did a beat up. Next Pokemon coming in right barrier. Aurora feels already over. Some nice damage on the red barrier. Bench again. Oh my god. Will we get another flinch? Or will he finally die? It's a rest? Alright, man. What if he just killed it? Triple X. So why didn't he just click that before? Whatever. Flinch even? Oh my god. The flinch? During the sleep, that's pretty disrespectful. Kills off the rock barrier also. First comes in. Takes the beat up pretty well, but it might also get flinched. Oh my god, no, that doesn't work, man. 
Alright, that Doris also dies. The Weavile is still in after killing three whole Pokemon. Articuno. Let's see what this can do. I really don't want the guy to get sick so by only a Weavile. Defog? Oh my god, it's Defog to make the insta-kill moves uh, hit easier. Starfberry? Oh my god. Why did you ever run that? Uh, but I think the Weavile might just like kill the Mew. Oh no, it doesn't. It's a crit. Yeah, okay. But he still gets the flinch. Oh my god. If he just hits triple axe, he gets the 6 so right there. Beat up. Why would you go for beat up there, man? Just go for triple axe. So I swear, I, I promise you it kills. And he even gets the flinch. Okay, Mr. Triple Axel. Does he finally kill? Is he wave? Roost? Dude, what is fucking happening in this game? I'm going insane. Horn drill, bro. Please stop. Please stop. Is this only insta kill move? Team? Oh my god, there goes the drag knight, bro. I actually lost brain cells in that game, but whatever. Refresh this side real quick to uh, get some new games. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Joy Court at top 10. Actually, uh, seems to be pretty far away from that top 10, but I wish I wish this guy luck. Garboder, that seems pretty interesting. We can do this. Alright, um... Both teams are pretty crazy. Um, this guy, not not that much, but he still has some less common Pokemon, like Kamo, Swampert, and this guy just has a Gar Garboder, so I'm rooting for the Garboder. Also, that's my Pokemon, a favorite Pokemon I drag on. Eat Corviknight versus Tyranitar. Interesting, he might have body press to uh, kill this straight off the bat. Heart Switch is Garboder, it's kinda weird because if he attacked him here, Garboder can spike up but like doesn't do anything against Corviknight, just defogs on him. Usually weak armor Garboder, that's interesting. It doesn't do anything to Dragapult except, uh, well yeah, except spikes. Takes a lot from Shadow Ball right there. He's just out into Tarantar to uh, keep the Garboder alive on 4%. Leftover Tyrantar, that's interesting. Who actually makes a really good play, doubling back to Magnuson under Coronite. That was actually like, really good. Now he keeps up the spike for the rest of the game too, and everything on um, this guy's team is hit by it, well, except for the boots mod, like uh, Zero Aura. He just switched into Knockoff, actually fears ACC here. Um, Alright, that's, <laughs> that's, that's like a little unfortunate because uh, killing him with Play Rough uh, would have. Uh, made Star Aura take aftermath damage, which would have been like sort of nice jib, but it's whatever. Extra crew comes out next, and this guy has no EQ resist, uh, so he's gonna be taking a lot. And nothing can outspeed it because it's uh, Sand Rush. Because it's paired with Tyrantor, and you don't see Mold Breaker uh, pop up when it came in. EQ on the Zapdos, nice prediction. I guess he's just gonna go for a break where do a lot of damage. I don't think that's Fist Death Swamp right if it's taking that much, or that those Gal are just cracked, I guess. Swampert dies, Sarah Orr comes in. I can do this with Plasma Fist. Actually, went for an aggressive knockoff. Actually, just not CC Sarah Aura. Which is why I didn't click it against the Tyranitar. Cartana gets the Tyranitar, it's a nice double switch, I guess. Secret Sword picks off a kill right here. Uh, it's like a little annoying for uh, old man to deal with, but he'll be fine. Aerial is down. Actually, I think this might just win because it should live an accidental earthquake unless it like crits. Oh, but he switches out. I don't think he stood uh, understood the assignment right there. Get a free win. Rapid spin. Seems a little unnecessary, but whatever. You do you. Oh, and now he gets up. Oh, now, now he gets up at SD. Another spin, and now he should just clean with this, I think. Dragonbolt should die. Cortana should die. I think Old Man just came back, yeah. Wow, that was a wild game. Um, Really nice uh, double switch to Magnazone early on, and uh, took out the Coronite early, which let Extra Jewel 
clean up later. That was pretty nice. Let's see if we can find the last game. In ghosts. God. This looks pretty uh this looks pretty interesting. Watch this. Carboder for Stokus lead. Clicks explosion turn one on a Metagross switch. Not sure what the point of that was. If you want to kill Togek, you can just click like Gunk Shot or whatever you have. That's your poison stab. A bomb stock comes in, that does not be the Metagross. This guy's already just like fumbling the bag. It's also not level 100 on its Pokemon. I really don't know what is happening here. This anything goes game. Blizzard, I, I guess he's trying to get a freeze. I don't know. Meteor Mash. Go to Wilmer, man. I think he can tank pretty well. Your match does a lot, but doesn't kill it. Well, let's see. Bro, this is not Pokemon Unite, man. What are you doing? This hurts to watch. Uh, this is Meteor Mash. Does he click Bullet Seed again? Oh my god, he had Earthquake. Just clicked that before, but at least now he got rid of it. Now he got uh, rid of the Metagross. This guy's actually cheering in the chat after that. That, 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 is, that is wild. Alright, Togekiss picks off the green. Wilmer comes in next to the level 87 Wilmer with Die. Very interesting. Unite main. Um, Alright, he sets up a shell smash. Wilmer's not gonna do anything against this. Amnesia. Alright, he's just gonna start setting up um, right against this. Water spell doing a lot of damage. Y slam. Gets the paralysis. Very nice. Still doesn't beat it but he can dream early summer is coming out next uh trying to take a hit it's paralysis high horror power not doing damage damage it's called i mean surf seems like better on that setup or whatever oh it gets a burn it's shell bell snorlax okay interesting gengar oh it goes for a dynamax g max there all right Gengar looking to come back in this game right here. It's actually uh, either a Scarf Stoutland or a uh, really slow Gengar that just clicks a ghost move against a normal type Pokemon. Max Mindstorm doing 27. This, this is just embarrassing at this point. Please just end the Stoker case. Okay, thank you. I don't think I can handle any more of these type of games, so I think I just have to call it a day right here. Thank you a lot for watching. I hope you lost less brain cells than me. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe if you did, and uh, peace out.